okay so let's take a look at how you can import data from excel sheet into jot form table so i signed up to jot form and in products you can find jot form tables once you go there you will find dashboard like this where you can create new table so click on create table here you have option to choose from template start from scratch or import data so here you will import data and you will find this uploader like this simply click on upload file choose your excel file click open now here you will notice that you have some of the columns to select right so you can choose to check and check so here you see i don't need the particular tab there is also one within which i can see what type of columns i have so currently we can see it has a to g with no particular column names of their own right so here you can choose first row as a column header or you can ignore that considering we don't have the name so let's not import that first column right so we will directly go with import data and it will upload that file we'll have to make some adjustments considering the default use as it is won't suffice because as you can see this is the submission date right we can hide this particular column again column a has nothing so we'll delete that now here you see the first row here is the column header right so we'll have to rename our current column headers to these ones and then remove this particular row so sometimes the uploading of your csv file or excel file won't work as planned so what you can do in that case get the column type right so we'll just edit this right first thing you can do is delete the column is one option or if it doesn't give you the option to edit anything you can simply create new choose let's say date time click next choose date right and then we will simply add time as well create column now you notice we have this one to go for and we can remove the current one next column comes is visitors name so we will take that and considering it won't let us get the column property so our best option here remains to use short text add visitors name and then move it over here and simply get particular data in the next row right now we can safely delete this particular column right so now next column comes in and so on we will have to do this for entire upload right so reason for is it we can import it here we can even copy the reason right and now we can delete the column now we have two time in and out options so we can choose that with your column date time time in next time option create column right so time in add here and then remove the existing one right Similarly, we will do the same again with timeout. Right, so click next. Time option, create column. Right, so we add that. So we again get delete column option, and then we have sign in and initial, where you usually do the sign. So short text again. Click next and create column. So we can get that here can copy and paste get the time 
details as required right so that's it now we choose the in and out time right and we got the initials as well right so we can delete this particular row and column sorry and we got date visitor name so let's go with today's day and at 6 we have that right so pretty much we managed to get in visitor details by taking that uh, excel sheet into jot form and managed to create this table now we can also create a form for this we'll just have to use the form the right way so let's see visitor sign in right and that's it pretty much everything we want is here right so we have date time in and out right here we can even choose what to go for right can see if it's important field or not and then publish the form right then open it in new tab and view this you have visitor sign in from spreadsheet to jot form table i know it it isn't perfect exactly and won't be uh, immediately available considering you will have to fix few things before getting it ready to use as a form as well as for the database